Spontaneous. A lady who understands me without me exp explaining too much. Someone who's gonna be the same, Mike. You're always cutting me when I'm talking. Listen to me. I need someone who's gonna make life easy. Someone who's gonna want me as much as I want her. You, you understand what I'm saying? Guy. See, I don't have time for this. Let's go to work. We're getting late. Oh, listen. I'm not picking you up to work again. Okay? Fix your damn car. What's that? I'm so, so, so sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Forgive me. No, oh, this is the worst day of my life. It's okay. Nothing happened to the cars. But please, next time when you're driving, you should watch. I don't know what's happening to me. This is the worst day of my life. It's okay. I just wasn't paying attention. I was just texting and then I don't know when I just veered into the road. Excuse me, are you listening to me? I said it's fine. It's okay? It's, it's okay. Okay, nothing happened to the cars. Are you serious? It's okay. But I... I almost... Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bless you. Bless you too. Thank you. Oh. Are you not running late for your meeting? Yes. I'm running late. Thank you. Thank you once again. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. God really bless you. And I promise to pay attention next time I'm driving. I think you should. <laughs> All right. God bless you so much, sir. All right. Have a nice day. Self has for you. Mike, I am busy. Well, yes, I can see typing, doing everything right. But you are the owner of the company, so you can stop getting busy at any time, right? What is it? Bad. Bad. See? You always not enough for you, right? Especially to make sure you don't end up with prostate cancer. <laughs> right? Look. So, good. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. The girl for you, perfect, sweet doll. <laughs> see, she has all the qualities you're looking for, and I can see you both clicking so well. Well, she looks nice, but how do you know? <laughs> you know, I always roll with the best, and just as my girlfriend's friend. <laughs> it's hard to believe, right? Yes, it's very hard to believe that you have a girlfriend. Oh, yes, of course I do. No, wait. What do you mean? I a serious one. Oh, yes. Sorry, sorry, I didn't tell you. I have no girlfriend. No, I know. That's not about me. It has to do with you. Are you gay? Well, I would have to. It's enough. Don't even say anything. See, I'm going to give you an... No. I'd rather ask you to call you. Because I know what you're the problem with. I don't trust you at all. I don't trust you. Okay. Can I work now, Mike? Sure, you can work. Right. Type. Anything. What are you still doing here? I haven't asked for her name. But you said she's going to call me. Sure, but you should ask for her name. Okay, Mike, what is her name? <laughs> I'll ask her to call you. Dear.
question, right? Ah, uh, yes. You must be. Oh, yes, I am. You know, better than you saw. Thank you. Oh, please come inside. So, um, it's finally nice to meet you in person. Thank you. Tell about on the real end. Like she swept me off my feet from the get go. And when, when she's speaking, it sounds like angels are singing. Dude, that's not what I want to hear. What went wrong? She said it seems like you didn't want to be there. Something wrong. You said you're a blogger. Yeah. No. Oh. That's good. Hello? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll be right there, okay? All right, bye. Um, Chifa, I'm so sorry. Um, I have to take my leave. It was nice to meet you. You? The call you had was a fake call. Jesus. What will I do with you? One time, we just lost that young. Finish. Gone. Bam. You did jog more. No. I did dance by logo. I go sing. No, no, wait. Oh. Is it because I joked with you once? All of a sudden you think I care about my health. Please allow me to mourn the rank she fucked up. So, um, do you live in the estate? Yeah, Obi Villa. For real? How come I never saw you until that day? Wait, you live there? Yeah. Oh my god. Well, I, I actually moved in two months ago. No, actually one month ago. Oh, okay. That explains it. Wow, I, uh, I stay in house number five. Number five? <laughs> I live directly opposite your house. You're joking. I'm serious. Wow, small world. Yeah. So we're neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're going to be seeing ourselves a lot. Probably. Okay, uh, let me not bother you. I'll see you around, okay? Okay. Uh, sorry. I didn't get your name. Oh, Sonia. We are two Sonia. different I'll people. Uh -huh. Brought together by destiny. A match made in heaven. Separated by who we are. Jesus, 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 Jesus. <laughs> At you! What is wrong with you? Ah, girl. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. How about you call Antoine? <laughs> oh, girl. Madam, what are you doing here? Uh, how did you even get inside here? Ah, uh, what kind of a question is that? Look, your door is open. <sighs> well, who leaves their doors open? Hey, are you serious? And I was already sleeping, you know. Uh-uh. Sonia, uh, how can you be sleeping? Didn't I tell you I was going to come over? Ah, is it today? I thought you said tomorrow. Hell! Please, just tell me you have something to eat in that fridge. Because I'm really hungry. God, girl, what kind of a boring life are you living? Eh? Who goes to sleep at 9.30? Yeah. Hey, madam, I'm a working class woman now. I can't be cooking and sleeping late. Mm. I hear you. I beg, I hope there's at least noodles in this house for me to eat. Mm. Go and check downstairs. That will you see. Yes, I'm don't scare me like that. Mm. So now you want to sleep here? Eh? When I'm in this house. You are a case, girl. A match made in heaven. 
separated by who we are. But I know, oh yes, I know, one special moment will change everything. Whoa. Wrong house for a second. Well, um, I thought so too, but it looks like you came to see me. I actually did. Um, I brought you a gift. Wow. Is it Christmas already? <laughs> well, something like that. Um, I made some chicken and I thought it was tasty, so I should bring you some. Unlike the normal rice. I'm really trying. Thank you. And then again, I remember that I did not get you made. So I said, let me get some chicken and bring it over here and get your name. Here. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Kwesi, that's my name. Kwesi. All right. Nice to meet you, Kwesi. Nice to meet you again, Sonia. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll take my leave now. All right. Uh, and thank you. Once again. All right. You're welcome. All right. Bye. Uh, Sonia. Yeah. Um, you said your house is going to Yes, I did. Well, I can't eat all this heavy chicken. No matter. You have drinks? We are two different people brought together by destiny. A match made in heaven. I see what you're saying about the chicken. You're feeling it, right? It is, it is amazing. <laughs> kind of like the Optimus Prime of chickens. Wait, you like Transformers? Who doesn't like Transformers? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Optimus Prime. <laughs> you know what? He does less in all the movies. I think Bumblebee does half of the work. Damn, you know, I thought it was just me, but... You feel the same way I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I cry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. I spent the whole day here. Yes, you did. I am such an intruder. <gasps> what? No, you actually saved my day. It was going to be another boring cliche Sunday. But um, we can do this again if you're game. Hmm. Okay. But at my house, and you're bringing the food. No problem. I got you. All right. Have a good night. We are two different people. Brought together by destiny. A match made in heaven. Separated by who we are. But I know, oh yes, I know. You have to call me to tell her you're sorry. Chrissy. Hmm? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I just can't stop thinking about the girl. Exactly what I'm talking about. That's why you need to pick your calls anytime Jifa calls you. Who is talking about Jifa? I am talking about Sonia. She has that thing. She's intelligent. Spontaneous, and she understands that every guy would it. Who is Sonia? <laughs> she is the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. She's sweet. I think I think she's an angel. She knows what to say at every time. If 
before I speak. I mean, she, she just knows. We just connect. Like, whatever I do is her. When I'm working with Sonia, she just snap my outfit right now. This girl is just taking over my mind, my thoughts. When I'm sleeping, I'm it's insomnia. Like, do you understand what I'm trying to say? This guy just walked out. Mike! He's a douchebag. But I'm crazy about something. We are two different people. Brought together by destiny. A match made in heaven. Hey. Hi. Um, I know it's nothing like a chicken, but I think it tastes good too. Yes, we do. Copy of wine. Yeah, I should. Come in. My friend Chrissy, Chrissy Ada. Nice to meet you, Ada. Nice to meet you. He's my neighbor. Hi, neighbor. <laughs> Hi. Um, I will take my leave now. I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Right, bye. Your invisible girlfriend that nobody sees. Don't worry, you'll see her soon. It's a Friday. Heading to the club. Are you coming? No, I don't think so. Oh, see, it's even a damn question because you're driving me, so it's obvious you're coming with me. Uh, don't be so stiff, Chrissy. It's a Friday. All right, all right, Mike. Let's go. Okay. I have nothing to lose. Sure. You know what? It's all about. <clears throat> Can you get serious? It's a Friday. Private. 
What is private? It must be that hangover from last night. Let me get you some water to drink. Okay. Well, do you have coffee? Yes, I do. What about noodles? I have that too. All right, then um, why don't you go upstairs and take a shower and then come back and get your care? Mm. We are two different people brought together by destiny. A match made in heaven, separated by who we are. But I know, oh yes I know, one special moment will change everything. Whoa, yeah, you are so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, yes, I know, girl. You're my kind of woman. Heaven sent you to me. Heaven sent you to me, yeah. I'm sorry for making you miss jogging because of my irresponsible self. Oh, come on, that's okay. It's a pleasure doing this for you. Thank you. Let me feed you. You want to feed me? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I like it. Marketing segmentation. Obviously, we are going to be able to come out with our niche markets. What's wrong with you? This your company, the company you built from the scratch, is going to lose out if you don't fix this. Now, I don't see this to be any funny. Mike, my friend, calm down. You and I know this is not too big for my head of state. Uh, well, what's going on? I think the world has lost its balance. I'm supposed to be the one serious one here. Why not worried? And he keeps smiling. Michael Benson. I'm in love. Your friend is in love and I'm happy. I mean, I have found that one lady that sweeps me off my feet. 
She's so sweet and beautiful. <laughs> I am uh, happy for you, at least. Finally, you can believe. It's not all about sex. Because it is always about sex. I mean, uh, I mean. Here we go again. Hello, madam. Calm down. See, I told you I work all night. See, we are in crisis as I talk to you right now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You don't know me. We will talk when I come here. Okay. Oh, so. Okay. You seem serious about this girlfriend thing. Um, can we get back to work? <laughs> okay. For more years. Sure. So, like I said, we will definitely come out with our niche, man. They could still be alive. The hell happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he's doing the same thing over and over again. Listen. <gasps> Look over there. That's crazy. You know what? Let me use the washroom. I'll be right back. Just pause it. You know the word the match? My girlfriend did it. Sorry, I won't watch him. Ah, you look at him for your house. Eh? Go watch for your house. My girlfriend did sack me. She no, she no go make her watch. Said my girlfriend is here. Honey, who's at the door? Uh, it's, yeah, it, it's me. It's me. It's, me. Uh, it's best friend. Mike. <sighs> Baby, this is my best friend, Mike. Mike, this is my girlfriend. So. Hello, Mike. So are you going to tell him or I should? Listen, I was just having some fun back then. I didn't know you guys knew each other. So just leave it like that. What he doesn't know won't hurt him. We are two different people. Brought together by destiny, a match made in heaven, separated by who we are. Mike, why are you sleeping in my office? I had to climb my head off. And what is wrong with you doing that in your office? I prefer yours. Hey, I see. How's your friend doing? Which friend? The lady I saw in your house the other day. She's not my friend. She's my girlfriend. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, and yeah. she's cool. I hope you guys haven't. No, but guess what? We had the best date yesterday. That's good. Yeah. You tell me about it, and I get out of my office. <laughs> This is my girlfriend, Sonia. Sonia, meet Josh. Nice to meet you. Same here. Okay, then I will see you tomorrow. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye. Don't forget to call me. It's hot. You think it's hot? Girl, wait till you meet Frank. Gosh, I mean, how do girls actually stick to a guy? That shit is boring, annoying, terrifying. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, so how was it? That's good. I'm just leave me all by myself. <laughs>
Moving on, you know you're actually one of those girls. You know the type that stick to a man. Mother, you know it's not easy to find a man now. Hmm? So let me keep the one I have like that. Okay. I feel you, girl. Really, I understand. You know there are too many, too many four boys around. It's not easy to find a good man. And when you find one, all you have to do is pin him down. Plus, I am so tired of my parents and family friends that won't sip their tea and mind their own business. And, uh, every time they're like, Sonia, when will you bring a man home? Sonia, when are you coming to eat your love at your work? And blah, 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 blah. I so annoyed. Gosh. Girl, you shouldn't even like, be interested in what people think. Usually, I honestly don't care about what people think. I only care about what my parents think. Mm -hmm. But I do want a big wedding party. A big one. I mean, the one that will trend. Trend well, well. Yeah. And I think my man is capable of that. Sonia, you are a sports girl. It's called self-love, darling. Mm, I hear you. So, this man, how did you meet him? Mm, that's a long story, but I'll just you shall. You know I would sit for that one. I will. Okay. I met him at a wedding. He didn't see me though. He looked very responsible. So, I asked for his Facebook name from a friend that knows another friend that knows him. So I looked him up. He has a weird obsession for Transformer movies. We met up officially by accident. Literally, I hit his car. Madam, keep quiet. Let me tell my story. gave him those extremely sweet chicken he made. And the rest is history. Yep. You know, he is too busy at work. But that will allow me to have some me time. That's why he's the perfect choice for me. The only thing left is for me to make him propose to me. Girl, if you literally want to eat your cake and have it. <laughs> And why shouldn't I? I always get what I want on me. Still liking the bit. Separated by who we are. But I know, oh yes, I know. Um, not really. Maybe around eight. Anything? I want to cook something special for you. Mmm, so that means my secretary would have to go home early today. Hey, don't be joking with stuff like that. I'm sorry. Alright. Have a nice day. Have a nice day too, babe. And call me once you get to the office, okay? I will show. Enter into this house. Can't you see? I am blind. Why? Because you trust me. That's the key he gives to me. Okay. 
Um, I think we see trust well here. Yeah, that is his very biggest weakness. You are such a leech and an annoying one. Excuse me. Is that dinner? Because I know you don't even cook. Listen, this thing you and him do needs to stop. You're a grown man, okay? You can't keep coming here whenever you feel like. You have your own house. Use it. And start getting a family because we're building ours. Idiot. <laughs> we are two different people. Brought together by destiny. A match made in heaven. Separated by who we are. This is tasty. <laughs> Thank you. Are you sure you did all this when you go back from work? Mm -hmm. I made everything right from scratch just for you, baby. Mm. I love it. Thank you. This is interesting. I you enjoy your food. Bon appétit. She has a gun? No, it's actually mine. Why do you have a gun? She's crazy though. Yeah, that's what I like about her. <laughs> See, now for the darkness of the relationship. What's going on between you and Sean? Any issue yet? There was no issue last week. There was no issue yesterday. I don't think there's going to be an issue today and tomorrow. Why do you keep asking me if you have issues? What's, what's going on? Are you a counselor now? Hold on. Nothing much, nigga. No, I am sorry I can't help you. You know I'm in a relationship and I can't be doing stuff like that. I'm hanging up the call now, Mike, because it looks like you're not hearing what I'm saying. I just got off the phone with Mike and the same song was playing on the background. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. We 
are two different people brought together by destiny. Girl, this is huge. No, this is big. <laughs> God, tell me, how was the proposal? As boring as him. Was romantic enough. Come on. No, don't give me that look. Don't give me that look at all. Because I'm sure you know that it is not all proposers that should be loud. Anyway, I'm getting married, whatever be the case. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, have you guys fixed a date yet? Nah, not yet, but soon. Girl, you are getting married. <laughs> I'm just so stressed that I had to take out a cigarette. You know, I'll pay that thing. Hey, baby. Nice. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fine. How was your day? Oh, so stressful. Mm. Oh, baby, I was so exhausted I couldn't cook anything for you. Uh, don't worry, it's okay. I'll just fix myself something. You want some? Yeah, sure. <gasps> you okay? Yes, all right, please cook something for two. All right. Thank you. When it's ready, I'll bring it. All right. Can I be so careless? We are two different people Brought together by destiny A match made in heaven Separated by who we are but I know, oh yes I know, one special moment will change everything, whoa, yeah, you are you're so, so beautiful. beautiful, you're so beautiful, oh yes I know, oh yes I know, girl, you're my kind of woman, heaven sent you to me. Heaven sent you to me, yeah. Now I believe, oh, I believe, yes, I believe in such a thing called miracle. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe someday, someday, I pray, I pray yeah. you realize. Yeah, yeah. How much I love you, I love you, yeah. yes I do, yes I, I do, do. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes I know, oh yes I know, oh yes I know, oh, yes, I know. Oh, yes, I know. there is such a thing. That bitch, that bitch, tell me about it. She was when she saw she was mm. as in as in she was just trying to get his attention. That's all. <laughs> what? Huh? Say it again. That as in I can't hear you. Speak louder. Speak louder. Oh, I can't hear you. Oh, say it again, girl. Um, is it? 
Babes, you know you're missing the whole show, right? Who cares about this stupid movie anyway? Orders. You were with them. With them? I appreciate you guys making the trip home. Different people brought together by destiny, a match made in heaven, separated by who we are. But I know, oh yes, I know, one special moment will change everything. Hello, Hafa. Are you home? Yes, I'm home. I'm coming over. No, 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 you can't come now. See, I have something to mend with my girlfriend. No, no, no. Baby! Let me call you back. Let me call you back. All right. Seriously, why does everybody think I'm uptight? Because that is what we all see. You know what? Fuck everybody. My definition of having fun is different. Having a girl grind on me isn't fun. It makes me horny. It makes me want to have sex and have a girlfriend for that. <laughs> what am I even saying? She thinks I'm uptight too. Before we started dating, she acted like she likes everything I like, and all of a sudden everything changed. She's having a party in my house, I complain, and then she says I'm uptight. How am I the problem here? Okay. That is a lot of frustration. What else do you want? Can I sit with you? It's obvious you're going through relationship problems. Every couple goes through it. You meet someone for the first time and you think he's, he's perfect for you. 
you go in blindly and you start to exhibit characters that you didn't see from the beginning. It all starts when he starts coming home late at night. Then suddenly it's strange calls from unknown. But because he's a serial cheat, he keeps denying it. Then you guys keep fighting everything. So one of you feel like he's struggling. I'm sorry. I got carried away. It's all right. Look, you guys need to go back and really take your steps. You need to find each other again. Maybe everything will work out. Maybe not. I am not good. <sighs> As for everyone who thinks you're uptight, don't give a fuck. About it. I mean, a lot of people think that I am. A lot of people think that I am whatever they want to think about me. But I don't care. I just do me. She will come to love you. Thank you. You know, he speaks so much sense for us. I am a street power who speaks a lot of volumes. And I'm owning that shit. I guess y'all are following me after because I like wearing tight pants. <laughs> we are two different people brought together by destiny. A match made in heaven separated by who we are. But I know, oh yes I know, one special moment will change everything. I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Let's go inside. and went for that club. That's why I was calling you. My boy, club. What's that? They're very stupid. <laughs> anyway, guess what? Uh, I, I met that girl uh, from the other time, Coco. Oh, yeah. 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 She actually gave me, like, some good advice that helped between me and Coco. I mean, Sonia, sorry. Why am I saying Coco? She's just getting on my head, sorry. Huh? Advice? Yeah. <laughs> You taking advice from a stripper, you sort of enjoying yourself. <clears throat> Can you ever be serious in life, Mike? I'm, I'm just surprised, anyway. <laughs> I'm happy you and your girlfriend are cool, though. Advice from a stripper. I did that always in the advice. It's not funny, you know. Separated by who we are. But I know, oh yes, I know. One special moment will change everything. Whoa, yeah. You are so beautiful. Yes, 
Eventful. I'm tired. Well, my day was quite eventful. Did you get the text I sent you? I didn't really get that message, babe. Okay, let me explain it to you. Well, today I met the best wedding planner and I was so impressed by her works. I think we should use her. But we haven't set a date yet. And we need to do that as soon as possible. Okay, so even if we set a date, I don't think we need a wedding planner. Why? Because wedding planners are for big weddings, and I don't want a big wedding. What? They are, they are stressful, time consuming, and really not economical. So, what you're saying is that the day that we're supposed to tell the world that we are officially married, you want to keep it on a down low? Honey, I think you're being too dramatic about this. Really? I am being too dramatic? I want to let the world know that I'm getting married to you. I just want to keep it a secret. Why are you so uptight? We are two different people brought together by destiny. A match made in heaven, separated by who we are. But I know. Oh, yes, I do. Mark, open this door. Let's hmm. see, calm down. Okay. One special moment will change everything. Ah, Cozy. It's too close to see. What is it with you calling at the wrong time? See, whatever it is, it's a bad time, man. I'll call her. Call you back. For me, nobody should touch him. Eh? Weddings are for 
If she wants a carnival wedding and you can afford it, just give it to her. So what you're saying is that? Shh! Give the girl the kind of wedding she wants. Let me ask you this. What kind of wedding would you like? Me? Yes, what's your idea with? Well, I I am not sure weddings are in the book for me. I mean, who would want to marry a stripper? But if I am if I'm to choose, I would go for a traditional wedding. Yes, I I don't like big weddings. What? Okay, I know you think I'm supposed to be an extrovert because of the kind of work I do and all, but from work, when I get home, I just read my books. So that's it. You know what? You always surprise me every time you talk. <laughs> Are you a Chelsea fan or are you wearing the shirt for fashion? Lose for life. Hmm. I am sorry for all the pains they must have. Yeah. It's okay. I know you won't understand why but it's just important. Yeah, I don't understand either because I'm in the same school. Wait, are you a Chelsea fan? Blues for life. <laughs> oh my god. It's like you've seen me in all You know what? I want to get some drugs. We are two different people Brought together by destiny A match made in heaven Can you imagine? He's just coming home <laughs> What do you think I'm pushing him away with this wedding thing? I don't know, Sonia Lip sealed Yes. sorry about last night. You can have whatever wedding you want. Even if you want a wedding in Dubai, it's all yours. I just want you to be happy. <sighs> See? That's the smile I fell in love with. Come here, give me a shirt. Please make sure you deliver the rest of the cards, okay? When you're done, call Alright. You called for me? Yeah. Here you go. What is that? I want you to be my best man. Uh, are you actually being serious now? Yes, I'm serious. Why wouldn't I be? Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to be sure. Yes, just want to be sure. Now you're very sure, so put yourself together because you're going to be my best man. Sure. I got you. Good. <laughs> Tuxedo, right? No. Jumpsuit. <laughs> What's with the graveyard attitude? Oh, you're about making a previous mistake with your life. Mm. 
What's up with you? You are you're shopping for a wedding gown. Are you getting married? Wow, surprising. You're also at a wedding shop. Are you also getting married? We all will get married someday. I guess. Anyways, enjoy your shop. Enjoy your shopping too, girl. Listen. Some random guy. Yeah. We are two different people brought together by destiny. A match made in heaven. Separated Girl. by who we are. Girl, we found the dress. But I know. Oh, yes, I know. What the hell is wrong with you? You take everything for a joke. You have no respect for me. No, Chrissy. You know, I didn't know she was your girlfriend. You sleep with anybody you see. What is your problem? You're missing the point here. I am missing the point. Seriously? You slept with my girlfriend. The point is so clear. Up with a long face. There's something wrong. <laughs> you look like someone just died. Okay, I. How can your best friend sleep with your girlfriend? The one he knows you're madly in love with. What? <laughs> now, this is some Telemundo kind of shit. This is fucked up! We're supposed to be married next month, and he's supposed to be my best man. See, we, we can't discuss this here. Look, this is something you probably wouldn't want to hear. But we are only humans, and we all make silly mistakes. It's, it's just up to us to forgive each other. To suffer someone you truly love. Do you have a boyfriend? It's... <laughs> It means a lot to me for you to find me seen as a regular human being. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Last month, I did. Why did you break up? Because he was a serial cheat. Wait. Want me to forgive Slow for the same down. reason? You don't even know the full story. I, I, I give him so many chances for him to make things right. But I guess he he didn't love me that much to make such sacrifices for me. Everybody deserves a second chance. You just have to make sure you're giving it to the right person. So I've met these um, people that help people lose weight and they're called Wholesome Craft and they've done fabulous. 
Honey, I've been working all day. Can you give me those foot massages? Go! I've passed the guy. Stand there. We pass it over to him. So maybe who's playing? Chelsea and Everton. See, which one is Chelsea? Babes, you should know our team is Jesse Bay. Pass the point! Ah, this guy! These guys are pissing me off today. I sat in there by himself, he didn't pass the ball to him. What's that? Massage, baby, please. Oh. Hello? Yeah. Never won, uh, Jimmy Lauto. I don't know what's going on with him now. It's like I've done something and he doesn't want to talk about it. So, yeah. <sighs> I don't get it. Things were moving smoothly just recently for you guys. But I'm just so confused right now. Wait. Do you think it has something to do with where he's been going lately? I think he's seen another. I'm just finding it so hard to look her in the face. I just can't. I'm trying to, but I can't bring myself to forgive her. Look, it was an honest mistake. It's especially your friend. They didn't know each other then, and you said it yourself. <sighs> Give me that. Great. I knew you would have this. Now close your eyes. Trust me, just close your eyes. <sighs> now listen to this song and imagine her. Let me start all over again. Her all through, right? Why don't you take off your mask? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me this. Okay, so I know I'm the baddest therapist, and um, you'd probably want to see the face behind it all because that's the company's policy. We don't take off. Okay, I lied. It's my policy. No, I don't think it's my mask. Why do you work here? <laughs> Are you seriously going to ask me this again? I'm sorry, it's just a little bit But I just feel you can do it. Okay, let me ask you this. If you were to get 10,000 cents, what's my all the time to tell you my problems, yet I don't even hear. Um, I open my own pudding now. I, I, I want to put a fusion between the resting fabrics and the sun's fit perfectly into the stars. But, do you not see? 
So why am I just in time? You should say that. There's just a machine than me, right? Yes, but I thought it's not all. I need that of this. But you should get the machine. At least you feel committed to it. That's true. We have a plan to succeed. I'll come to the order. That's good. See, I was in difficulty. Right? <laughs> um. Um. Shut up. Your name is Coco, right? Yes. See that man you just crossed with? That's my man. And I know he comes here every night just to see you. And I know you give him lap dances every time he comes here. But I hope it's just that. If I ever see you close to him again, you will lose your job. I hope you do not want to lose your job, do you? Good evening, Mrs. What do I call you now? Good evening, sir. What book? Call me Sonia. I'm not married yet. I hope. She wasn't giving you any issues. Not yet. I was just admiring the girls you have in this school. I go for the best. I just want to give men a place to come relax and always fun. And go. Tell them to get us a, a bottle of tequila. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a stripper. No way. Girl, how the hell did you find out? I followed him. Sonia, baby. Do you know where he ended up? Where? In Charles Club. Are you serious? I did my investigation. He goes there specifically for this girl. And she intentionally waits for him. Ah, uh, but... Yeah. But girl, if you ask me, I'll see you're lucky. What? What did you do to this girl? 
I made her an offer she can't refuse. So I'm just gonna sit back and see how much she's willing to lose for him. <laughs> so Nia Bebe. I believe you. <laughs> Let me ask you this. If you found out I was cheating on you, are you going to forgive me? Well, as long as it was a mistake and you promised not to do it again, yes, I'll forgive you. Hmm. So, you would expect me to do the same if it was you, right? I guess. Look, baby, we've both done some stuff in the past that we can't take back. And we can't build our relationship based on that. Can we start over again? I mean, like a clean slate. I'm down with that. That's my girl. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sonia. Okay, so I know I'm the fattest therapist in the room. You'd probably want to see the face behind it, but that's the company's policy. Shut up. Look, I don't know you. You don't even know me either. Stay in your zone and let me stay in my zone. I 
So why did she cry? I don't know. She just disappeared one night and never came. That's sad. Yeah, she was so good. She had a regular client that paid for a private room just to talk to her. She paid for drinks most times. That was regular money for me. But now she's gone. Damn. It's not what you think. Oh, come on. Don't you start lying. Then what does this look like? Listen, I was being hard on Mike. Sometimes I, I, I think I'm the reason why she cheated. She always complained I was so boring. And, and you said the same thing. Yes. I did. But that is not an excuse. See, she was just the wrong girlfriend for you, period. It's never your fault. You will get it first. Sometimes I say you're boring and all that here is like, but one thing I'll promise you is this, I will never trade you for anybody to be my best friend. You're so different. You're straightforward, you're understanding, you focus on your goal. You're just an ideal man that every lady would want to have and me as your best friend. I'm so lucky to have you. If she can't see that too, too bad for her. I don't know, you definitely get something from that. <sighs> Thanks, man. You're welcome. I am never going to sound this emotional with you. Whatever. It's about time I guess it was with my woman. Don't forget, you are going to be my best man. Of course, I'm going to be your best man. But wait, who is she? And how come I've never met her? She'll be with us now. Almost. Almost. I'm so waiting for her. She's going to be here. Bye. Help you, sir. 
same old pole. You're my kind of woman. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-